everyone, welcome to the video. And welcome to the 80, this is the first video of it out. Um, today we're just going, heading over to Warburton. We've just finished finished up another lockdown, uh, heading over to Warburton. We're gonna go and see how the 80 goes. It's still got its little skinny all-terrains on it. No lifts, nothing, I thought, before we go and, <clears throat> before I do anything to it, we'll just get straight to it, see how it goes. It's pretty sunny today, it's a great day for it. Oh, there might be a few trees down from the wind we had, but I don't reckon it's going to be too wet either, so that'll probably be a good thing considering this thing's pretty stock, but we'll see how the day goes. Righto, whilst I'm waiting for my partner in crime to come in, I might just go and show you around, just sort of do a quick video of the 80. I would have put up a rundown video by now, or maybe a little bit after this, but this is sort of what we're running with. Um, 235.85, so like a skinny 32 all-terrain. Um, I believe no lift in it, it's pretty basic. Nothing fancy in the interior, I've got a UHF so I can go and talk to people and that's about it. Basic tools, wheel brace, jack. And then just for now, I've literally just put some weight into it um, for the sake of it, because the rear's up pretty high at the moment. So I've got a set of drawers, which will probably stay in there. These are all my tools that I need. I'm carrying extra tools that I don't need. Um, again, just so I can put some weight in it for now. The fridge, that's also just for weight, but that'll stay in there for obviously touring, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, we'll call this sort of spare parts plus this random toolkit, but that's the actual box of spare parts there. Got coolant, um, spare parts, and uh, what's that? Power steering fluid, brake fluid. The only thing I don't have is engine oil, uh, but it's a 1HZ, so she'll live. And then up front, we've got an ARB, oh, I believe it's just a commercial bar. Worn winch, I reckon it's nearly 30 years old, but um, I gave it a quick test before we've left and it seems to work bloody brilliantly, so can't complain with that. Just hit that tree I've knocked down. <laughs> That's a good handbrake. Keep going. Or not. Just make sure your head's not in anything you'll hit if you do hit that tree. It hurts. Big tree. All right, well, we found something that isn't closed. So we're gonna give this a go and put Naomi up first because she's got muddies on and then she can recover me because I don't. Ah, uh, Clay Hill. All right. Actually looks like there's heaps of grip on the right-hand side. 
on my right, the left, I suppose, of the track. You're fine. You might end up getting a bit like stuck. Not bad, but you'll get stuck in that right hand side. I have my foot on the brake. That's me sliding. Yeah, I know. I'm saying you sliding is fine. You're not going to go and damage anything. Keep going back on the flat. Then turn lockers on and give it more. After a few attempts, we decided to turn around instead. But of course, that's become difficult enough itself because the tyres are flogged. So just can you know, give this a go? Winch in and steer to the left. Just gonna try and pop you out of that bloody grimy bit. All right, now you'll need to give it a bit of a hand, so. Winch in, tiny, tiny bit of drive once you start moving. Keep going. I don't know if she's ever used a winch. Have you ever used a winch? Have you ever used your winch? Okay, that explains it. Just keep going, winch in, just hold it in. And then once you start moving, drive it a bit. Go. Hold it in and like drive it at the same time. You've got two hands, two feet. So, drive it, put off the clutch. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, maybe just let the winch do the work for now. So off the brake winch, because that should bring your front around a bit. Keep going with the winch. Ah. Oh. You're leaning on the accelerator, you goose. Can you come I saw that, yeah. Amateurs. Best bet, you can also chuck it underneath the windscreen wiper, but just hold it. Oh. Yep. Just hold it, mate. The winch is happy if you just hold it. <laughs> Don't need to go burp, 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 burp. Oh. Keep going a little bit more. Now probably start driving. So whilst winching, drive. Now keep going. So keep pulling the winch in and keep going. All right. And that is why I didn't get up this hill. Because I value my car. And he's going to come out and be very smug. <laughs> I told you. I hit my head walking like opening the door and I think I might have concussion. Salad. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, your turn. You can drive my car. I'm not driving my car like that.
Because my car has issues. It's, it's really like it's not the end of the world. My That's car fine. has issues. I'm going to touch wood now. So let it be known. I touch wood. And I've said that. Well, I'm going to need to keep moving my cruiser then. Huh? Just need more momentum, not the third. Hello and welcome to um, me wanting to die. Um, I don't know if you can see that I've already tried to kill myself today with my car door, which is probably now going to die. But here comes Seth. Um, this foot is probably just like of my forehead and my nose. But he's there. I'm not happy about this. But like he got his car up here and so obviously it's because I'm too soft of a driver. But I have to drive that car every single day. So there is reason for me being like that. But still. Not really fair. Like, he has to drive that every single day, but like, he's not afraid to vlog it because he can fix it. <sighs> Men. Watch a fossil die. I have a really bad headache now. Oh, God. Okay, well, he made that look really easy and that makes me really sad. Um, huh? It doesn't have to grab the third. Hmm. Well, yeah. It's carry driving because it's going to need to smash a clog up there. Well, I'll tell you what, I really did love that GQ, but. I've just been sitting going up and up and up and up, second gear, low range, revving its ass off, and that temp gauge hasn't moved. In fact, neither is the fuel gauge, but the fuel gauge never moved on the patrol anyway, because it didn't work. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> slippery, slippery. As tempting as it is to just get pulled back a little bit and have another go, but quicker, I'll just winch that one. Go and get to use the winch, and we go from there. I just underestimated how much it'd be on my diffs. I'm used to a big old GQ. I reckon I could make that if I just went a little bit quicker. Ah oh, well. Oh, now it's getting a bit stiff. 30 year old born winches, hey? Look at that.
Well, in all honesty, I'm kind of glad I got myself stuck in this situation. Because I went to grab the winch and went, oh, I've left half of my recovery gear about a kilometre that way. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. But in this case, I win and lose at the same time. So I'm just going to go and grab all my recovery gear and then I'll get me out. The cavalry has arrived. with it. <laughs> I think it's wedged in the leaf hanger. Oh, I forgot to warn her about the winch cable. Whoop. Bit of a predicament. Just gonna go with the double line pull and hope that works. I'm so beached. Just on the rear, the front's fine. But that rear end, it's just dug a hole. So next time we get here, we're going up, right? Now I've got bigger tyres. That was like so much fun going up. We're both dragging our diffs going down, but gravity's helping us out. Well, that's the Warby trip done and dusted. Uh, I think we did three tracks. I'll go and put them in the description what tracks we did. Um, we had a lot of trouble finding tracks that weren't seasonally closed. We ended up going through I know one of the tracks was um, Patrol Road in brackets, four-wheel drive, whatever. And then we started sort of progressing um, up in difficulty from there and actually found a difficult rated track on new tracks that uh, wasn't seasonally closed. So we had a good good time there. Obviously, you've seen the footage anyway. Um, but yeah, now we're headed back home, go to the car wash first because I sat way too long in a bog hole. It wasn't deep, but... Can we go faster? Uh, yeah, I can go faster. Yeah, I'll go faster. Yeah, it wasn't crazy deep, but it was enough that it'll probably corrode something given the um, trend of the rest of this car. I don't want it to corrode anymore. 